it's me, Stormy, and here's your 2018 yearly horoscope. So before we jump in here and talk about all this mind expansion and spiritual awakening you'll be doing this year, I want to remind you the 2018 birthday appointments are up. So click in the description box down below, book your appointment by your sun sign, but definitely take advantage of them because you're towards the beginning of the year. Those appointments will go first and fill up most quickly. So make sure you click down below and grab that. All right, Pisces, so this year, really cool, kind of coming into 2018, we've got some carryover energy from Jupiter who was in Scorpio and is still in Scorpio until November of 2018. Now, this is hitting and taking this expansive journey for you in your ninth house. So really, this is mind expansion this year. This is also a year where you may decide with Jupiter's wisdom and abundance to gain a new level of teaching, um, spirituality, religion, adventure. You may be wanting to take some trips, really go someplace further than you've ever gone before. But this could also be you decide to go back to school or it's helping you in school. Licenses, certifications, um, any of those kinds of things fall into this realm. But what is absolutely surely apparent to me with Jupiter here in the ninth house is that you want adventure, you want expansion, you want to know things. Now, the other thing I think of when I look at the ninth house is do you have amends to make to people, right? Do you need to get out of yourself and go clean up with other people? This could be a time where you are absolutely satisfying that spiritual taste bud that you've got going on by cleaning up the wreckage of your past as well, especially in terms of friendship things, because we're going to have Jupiter actually helping you in this expansive mode. And when you expand this way, this is a place of selflessness where no matter what it is from the past, you're willing to own your part. And it's a really a very beautiful energy. So one of the other things I'm looking at and thinking about here is that with Uranus moving into the sign of Taurus this year, moving into your third house, you may really be in some kind of heavy conversation, study, communication, something like that. Because with Uranus coming into Taurus, Uranus brings surprise. He brings um he knocks down the structures of the house that he's been visiting, right? So the way that you've been communicating, the way that you've been thinking, um, the way that you've been making decisions, maybe even things with siblings, neighbors, maybe even a contract you've been in, he brings some zing to it. Things are unexpected. He's tearing it down. He's bringing you a different, fresh, inventive um, perspective. They actually call Uranus the Great Awakener. So something in the way that you've been communicating or not communicating will definitely be rising to the surface and you will be taking that on. One of the things I think is cool about it is that between June 26th and August 27th, we're actually going to have Mars moving retrograde through the sign of Aquarius. This is in your 12th house space. Now, this is important to understand because through the 12th house space, which you're very comfortable in, that's the house of Pisces, right? But through this 12th house space, you may have been gaining knowledge, especially spiritual things, things about faith, and now you're ready to communicate them. You have an awakening of some variety. But during this retrograde, you're re-looking at actions. You're re-looking at your actions, your attitudes, your energies that you've been putting into this spiritual space, into a project that you've been working on behind the scenes, into this quiet space over here. And here's the thing about Mars when it's in retrograde as well, just to give you perspective. This will all launch forward, but with Mars being retrograde, you may feel stuck. You may feel like, why isn't anything I'm doing to move things forward? Why isn't it working? It's because your energies are to the back. Your energies are in cleanup in the past mode, not necessarily in the future. You gotta clean up before you can move forward. So if you feel that, just understand that when the energy is pointed backwards, especially with Mars, our energetic planet, that's the way that you've got to go. Now, we've also got Saturn in Capricorn. And for you, this is in the 11th house space. I love this because this is a space of discernment for you, Pisces. You gotta really look around here with this Saturn energy that's helping you to mature, come to the next level, be more discerning, be more reserved in what you're doing. You're gonna look around and see who's on team Pisces. And some of this, I think, may shock you. You may have had friendships that you felt like went to the left and you felt like, oh, I don't know what to do with that whole thing. And you find out that those people are still team Pisces. Pisces, while you've got some people in your space right now that maybe are not who you actually want to be aligned with, you will be becoming more discerning and picky about who you let in your team and on your squad. At the same time, I feel like with Saturn here, you're revising some long range goals that you've got, some desires that you have, some things that you want to do and see and experience in the world. But whatever it is, um, 
it's a very social energy for you that you are definitely, definitely reconsidering. You may even be reconsidering the strategy and the process that you're going by um, to put yourself out there in the world, right? You could be putting yourself out there in a way where you're like, huh, I can't actually hide in my house and have friends, right? Like I, <laughs> like I need some solitary quiet time, but I cannot be in my house and make new friends and new associations and share my work and my art and my creativity and my business with people. Because a goal that you've been working on for a couple years, especially something around freelance things could be coming up as well. And I bring up the freelance work and work and things like that because we've also got an eclipse cycle happening this year, right? And it's mostly like it was in 2017 between Leo and Aquarius, but it's actually attached to a career cycle that's um, started, excuse me, a return and eclipse cycle that started in 2016. So as we get to 2018, maybe you've had some art you've wanted to put out there and you haven't had the courage to do it. Maybe you wanted to start a project. Something with work starts to get a lot more influence to it and it also gets to change direction a little bit but you've been working on career stuff for a very long time and it is people that are going to be on team pisces and help you get this deal done help you in this career space help sell your art celebrate your art help you with your health and your wellness and definitely help you with that uranus energy and the mind body connection what's here what's here in your head right? And what's here in your health? Because the things we think here translate through the body. And I think this year in your exploration with Jupiter, you become very, very aware of the things that you say and the things that you do and the things that you think also impact that beautiful Pisces body that you've got as well. All right, Pisces, I want to jump in here and I want to get this year broken down for you so you can get out there and enjoy it, okay? Right at the beginning of the year, January 31st, we have got our first eclipse energy and it's a total lunar eclipse happening in the sign of Leo. So this is happening in your sixth house. Now, it, the fact that it's a total lunar eclipse is important because that means it blots out. So it resets your emotions. You get an emotional reset about things at work. Also things about your daily routine. If you need to re-surrender to some kind of meditation practice, connection, some kind of morning routine or routine in your life that actually breathes you health, this will be a wonderful energy to have that happening with. When we get to February 15th, we've got a solar eclipse, which is the place to start things. New beginning energy. And this is in Aquarius. This is in your 12th house. So for me, when I look at this energy for you, just being such a spiritual sign, this could be a spiritual awakening. You're putting yourself on the path of what you believe your divine destiny is. You're following something like that. You could also be working on a project or in a plan, a design, a business, a logo, and you're not ready to launch it out yet, but you're surely, surely getting these things over here But ready. the 12th house is ultimately a space where you will also be conquering a lot of fears to move you to the next place. May 15th, we see Uranus move into the sign of Taurus. We'll be here all the way until November 6th. Then it will slide back in retrograde fashion into Aries. And then in 2019, we really get the stent of Uranus and Taurus. But on this little taste test that we're getting here with Uranus here, we're going to actually see Uranus putting in a lot of work in this third house zone with you. So the way you communicate, right? The way that you share something, the way you put something out there. Maybe this is the time where you have to redo your website. Anything that has to do with communication, sales, writing, any of that becomes really different because Uranus is going to bring some shock to it and bring it into a different alignment so that you can see there's a more inventive, innovative way, creative way to get these things done. When we get to June 26th through August 27th, we've got that Mars retrograde. Now, I highly suggest, especially in a 12th house space for you being Aquarius, if you can avoid elective surgical procedures, it's really the best to just avoid them during a Mars retrograde. If you're looking to start a new business, you have something you want to launch, do it well before or well after the Mars retrograde to have the most success, okay? When we get to July 13th, we have got a solar eclipse, but this one's happening in Cancer. Really like this energy for you because this again gives this air of energy to your fifth house space. New beginnings, new creations, things with children, play, joy, creative expression. You get to launch all of those things out there. What do you have to share with us? Because it's going to be the most true thing to your heart. It nurtures the piece of you that is the most divine. So share it with us. When we get to July 27th, we've got a total lunar eclipse. This is happening in Aquarius, again, in your 12th house. Something has to be ended, acknowledged, 
or adjust it. And this could be a spiritual awakening happening for you that sets you on a course of brand new exploration for the rest of the year, that sets this project, you gather some information in a resource sense, and it sets this project on new footing, okay? August 11th, a solar eclipse happening in Leo. Again, lighting up the sixth house. Career, work, jobs coming to you. Um, health, health could really be, if a health thing does come up at this time, you're prepared to deal with it. You know what to do. You are intuitive about it. But I also think here too, you have to watch your behavior. Who are you showing up as Pisces? That will definitely be a question because it will sit on your health. Your behavior will start to show up in your physical body as well. October 5th through November, November 16th, we've got Venus in retrograde as well. Now she's going to start out retrograde in Scorpio, right? And then she's going to slide back into Libra. So for you, she's going to be working between the ninth and the eighth house. In the ninth house, you may be revisiting your thinking. You may be making amends. You could be cleaning up the past. You could be re-looking at what your track record of faith has been. You could be looking at things with schooling, teaching, um, publishing, advertising, broadcasting. You're re-looking at relationships and harmony around those things. In the eighth house, this is your connection to other people. I'm telling you, you will clean up this year. You will clean up some relationships. You will clean up your finances this year. You will clean up intimate connections that you have with other people. And some of that will be because you finally start to speak up for yourself and you also speak up for some bad behavior that you've potentially had and some good behavior you're looking to bring to the table as well, Pisces. So really beautiful in that regard. As we end this year, November 8th, Jupiter is moving into the sign of Sagittarius. He's going home. He's very, very comfortable for you. This lights up professional opportunity. So you spend this year expanding, gathering these skills, gathering this knowledge, setting relationships from the past correct. And then at the end of the year, you have a chance to really launch something delicious out into the world around your career and bring you to the next level. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot wait to see what you do and what you create with that Pisces. So you have to keep me posted in the comments down below. I love you guys. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the birthday appointment. So make sure you click and grab your spot. Okay. Bye Pisces.